Hey, it's Megan Lorson. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy hack for getting lots and lots of volume in fine hair on a half up, half down style. I'm going to show you two different ways. I'm going to show you a twist and I'm going to show you with braids and I'm also going to be sharing some other secret tips and tricks to get lots and lots of volume in fine hair. All right, let's get started. First, I'm going to start by taking a section at the crown area and I'm gonna go ahead and pin that back. So the section size looks like this and there's still quite a bit of hair in the front sections. All right, we're gonna grab some bobby pins and I'm not gonna be opening them, I'm just gonna slide them and weave them in. I'm gonna do one on the other side. I'm gonna do one more. And then what I like to do is just go ahead and pinch and pull the crown area up to give it some volume. Next, I like to take a smaller section from the front. I'm not taking the whole side. I'm working in sections. This is gonna allow us to start to create lots of volume. And I'm gonna start twisting the hair slightly. And as I'm twisting, I am going to start pulling out some hair. This is gonna start to create some fake layers in the hair, which is gonna create that volume and that projection in the hair. So as I twist around, I'm going to just continue to pull some out evenly across this whole back section right here. Here, and then I'm just going to secure that section with a bobby pin. And you can see how it starts to just add layers into the hair, which is also building volume into the hair. I'm gonna grab another section from the side and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna start twisting and pulling out. Wherever you want more volume, pull. you can pull out there. So if you don't want as much on the sides, don't pull it out on the sides. Focus more on pull, pulling it out towards the back, which is typically where you want the most volume back here more out. I'm just going to secure that with another bobby pin. And then we can even take another section down here. And I'm just going to pull a little bit out. I'm going to continue to twist it, pull a little bit more out. And then we're going to secure that side. I'm gonna actually twist this so that center piece goes, so we get that piece in the center to give it lots of volume right there. Can you see how that just instantly adds so much volume? This is one of my favorite tricks for achieving lots of volume in finer hair. We're gonna twist on this side and do the same thing and just start pulling pieces out to create those layers in the hair. Once we have the hair all pulled back, you can pinch and pull things out. You can pull the twist out to expand it to add even more volume. And then I like to just take a wide tooth comb, make sure everything is free of tangles. And then I like to go back in and just recurl some of these pieces together to just enhance the volume and enhance the overall style. And then another key tip to adding volume in the hair at this point, I like to take some hairspray and just lift the hair and spray it in. Maybe use some volume up Osis hairspray. Just like to lift the hair and lightly spray it. This is gonna add texture and hold to create lots of body in the hair. 
Now I'm gonna show you how you can do the same thing, but with braids this time. So I've got my same sectioning. I pulled back this crown area while leaving plenty of hair still in the front to work with. I'm gonna start working on this side and grab a section of hair. And then I'm going to split it in three sections and I'm going to do a dust braid, meaning the hair is just gonna come under. So this side will come under the middle, then this side comes under the middle. So instead of going over, we're just going under. This just makes the braid pop out a little bit more. And then when I get to about that corner area of the head, I'm gonna start dropping pieces. So I'm just gonna take some pieces out and let them fall. I'm gonna continue the braid. So that's coming under. And then I'm just dropping pieces from that bottom section. So this piece is coming under, under, and then I'm gonna drop some hair. And then I'm just gonna pinch and pull out my braid a little bit, but this is adding the layers into it just like we were doing with the twist. I'm gonna continue this braid and then just drop out some hair and pinch and pull my braid out a little bit. And then I'm just gonna secure that braid. And then I like to go back and fluff out my braid a little bit more. When I am working with braids in the hair, I love using a texture powder to help expand the braid. So I'll pump a little texture powder into the braid and then just go back and manipulate it to really make that braid pop. And then we can either do another braid under here or we can twist this back underneath. I'm gonna go ahead and do another twist. I'm gonna drop some of this hair. And I just wanna make sure that all these layers that I dropped out are gonna come over on top of the twist at least the ones back here. So I'm going to twist and start pulling out some pieces. I'm gonna pull some pieces out and continue twisting. And just pin that right under the braid. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna create another braid while pulling out some of the pieces. So this is what it looks like with braids pulled out and then I would do the same thing and take some hairspray and pinch and pull the hair up to add even more volume. Here are my other top tips for creating tons of volume in really fine hair and getting curls to last all day. Number one, my first tip is use a crimper on the hair. So you crimp the whole head of hair, taking really thin, small sections, and then curling the hair after you crimp it. This creates long lasting curls and tons and tons of volume in my hair. Number two, I love using texture products. So another great way to get long lasting style and tons of volume in fine hair is to use a volumizing mousse. One of my favorites to use is the Moroccan oil volumizing mousse, putting that in the hair, giving the hair a good blowout, and then creating the style. It starts to build in texture in the hair and can create tons of volume. Number three, my other favorite thing to do is use lots of texture products in the hair. Texture products in fine hair can start to build in grit and texture, which creates volume and long lasting styles. So I love using products like the Osis Soft Dust Texture Powder, and I also love using the Design Me Huff Me Powder. They are both very similar and are two of my favorite texture powders to use in the hair. By the way, all these products are linked on my Amazon storefront. I'll have the link down below in the description so you can check that out. Number four, again, it kind of goes with number three, but it's using texture products, and it also is a tip about hairsprays. 
So it is a myth that if you use, the more hairspray you use in your hair, the better it will hold. Wrong. The more hairspray you use, especially in fine hair, the more it begins to weigh the hair down, which is complete opposite of what we want to do. We want it to be light and airy and have lift so it can have tons and tons of volume. So minimize the amount of hairspray that you use in finer hair textures because it will ultimately work better. I like to finish a lot of my hairstyles off with got to be glued hairspray. This is a freeze hairspray. It keeps the hair in place. It's not gonna move all day, but again, I spray this lightly and evenly on fine hair when finishing hairstyles. I also love using the Osis Volume Up hairspray. Again, a light, even layer to finish off my styles is the perfect trick when styling fine hair. Okay guys, that is all of my tips for styling fine hair and creating tons and tons of volume in fine hair. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any other future education on bridal hairstyles, hairstyles in general, bridal business education, and social media. All right, thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one.